Now, this is a very uncommon occurrence, a soccer player rolling around on the ground <laughs> holding their ankle. But if this were to occur, you have to take it very seriously because <laughs> there's definitely an injury there. Ankle fractures, ankle injuries, very common. Okay, first thing I see here is soft tissue swelling over the lateral malleolus. Okay, telling you that there's definitely some swelling around that joint. Next, I see an injury, a fracture through the lateral malleolus itself. Now, note these two views. These are both frontal views, but that's the true frontal view, and that one there is called a mortis view, and I love this view. What it does is it, you internally rotate about 15 degrees, and that means the fibula and the tibia are now equidistant to the source of the X-ray and to the plate. Okay, So you, you lose that overlap of the syndesmosis and you're looking more directly down the syndesmosis. So it's a great view showing you the lateral aspect of the, of the talocrural joint and the syndesmosis. And then the third view always has to be a lateral. Here we can see a large joint effusion, anteriorly and posteriorly. So that fracture of the fibula, distal fibula, we have a classification system, a Weber classification system, and it's very simple. A's are below the syndesmosis, B's are at the level of the syndesmosis, C's are above the syndesmosis. What's it mean? Well, A's you can just treat conservatively. Put them in a moon boot or a cast, they heal fine. Any time the syndesmosis is potentially injured, you need to find out if it is intact or not, and if it's been disrupted, then surgery is indicated and you need to put in something like a syndesmotic screw or a tightrope. A, B, C's. There's that syndesmosis being potentially ruptured for a B and, sorry, and a C disrupted. Now, when I was an orthopaedic kid, uh, we would stress the ankle. They'd come into emergency or they're in clinic. It's a B, we're not sure if the syndesmosis is involved. You put on a lead glove. Do you remember doing this? Twisting the ankle. That's not nice. The poor patient's twisted and fractured their, their uh, fibula. Twist to see if in that mortis view there's widening of the syndesmosis, is there disruption of that ligament. Now we can do, we can do weight bearing views, but really these patients are assessed in theatre by they'll fix the B and then they'll twist the ankle to, um, to see on, in fluoroscopy if that opens up and they need to treat with syndesmotic reconstruction or reinforcement. So here's one, here's a B at the level of the syndesmosis. And you can see it's a little bit displaced. I don't see a lot of syndesmotic widening. You'll also note the transverse, mildly displaced medial malleolar fracture. This is a bimalleolar fracture, lateral and medial. And when we go to the, la the lateral projection, we always check the posterior aspect of the tibial plafon because this is termed the posterior malleolus. So you've got to make sure you're not dealing with a posterior malleolar fracture. That's why the lateral is really important in all ankle x-rays. Here's a C with a spiral fracture of the fibula above, sorry, above the syndesmosis. There's definite widening, widening of the syndesmosis. The medial malleolus is displaced, fractured and displaced in the medial direction. That talus is shifted a little bit laterally. There's widening of that talocrural joint space medially. It should be about the same as this. And there's also widening of that syndesmosis. 